support our brave boys. They're an absolute marvel, I think. All these are volunteers that have come from sort of all around London and they've been here since very early this morning and they're doing it completely free for their own experience and because obviously the uh, heroes that are coming in from Scotland, from Paris, from Colchester and I believe some from Birmingham all will need this before they then go out onto the mall. Because this is like a local event, a lot of people coming from different areas coming to show their support. So really and truly, it's the right place to be. We're greeting all the people that are coming in from the bike rides and then um, sending them off to rack their bikes up and get some refreshments before they go on to the next stage. Just having breakfast, having cycled from Bristol, not in one go, but uh, over three days. We're volunteer ride leaders with British Cycling. We're actually from Breeze Network. Breeze Rides for Ladies. Driving through London, seeing guys on Health Wheelers top riding towards Black Kid. It's very motivating and uplifting and I just want to say thank you to everyone who have competed and those who have helped. Well it's shocking how many there are with missing limbs and I do think that this is the least we can do to help really. We've made it! <laughs> The guys have done so well. 423 miles from Edinburgh. I know. We're ninja. <laughs> We've got friends and partners in the military. We come from Bath to London. A great conclusion to a good few days. We've had a really good time actually. Great camaraderie, great support all the way along. Really good. We used to work at Edley Court, so that's, that's where our inspirations come from. It's been really good. Because of these people have done so much for their country and it's only right and fair that we show our support for them um, and raise as much money as we can. And we are actually going to raise quite a lot today. Whatever happens to me, however bad I feel, those guys are phenomenal. They are the guys who just set the most fantastic example. They don't complain, they do swear a lot, they just get on with it and I just feel humble to be with them. They're a fantastic lot. But it's been an exceptional, exceptional journey, definitely do it again. I've loved every second of it. It's been really emotional. I think I'm really sad that it's over as well. It's a really good experience and met really, really beautiful people along the way. And maybe you'll see me again next year. We've got 70 from Birmingham. Fantastic cause. Look after our lads. It was yeah. amazing, amazing group of people, yeah. amazing to ride with some, you know, people, all people I've never met before. Fantastic, and the camaraderie was great. We've done 427 miles from Edinburgh to London, most of it all uphill. I've had a lot of given to me from Health Heroes and from my from when I got injured. So it's just good to give something back to the charity and what is really important. They always shock me, like one guy only. Um, joined the team five weeks ago, another one literally two weeks ago and we expected him to do about 20 miles a day but he just did the whole lot and so I've learned that um, yeah. well anything is possible and I knew that anyway but they always remind you that. Does this mean we've got to get ready for next year's ride? Already.
perfect way to end the trip from Paris. <laughs> getting out their cars to cheer us and um, clap and bib in their horns the whole way down it was absolutely amazing. People coming out of their houses, pubs and that just to give us a cheer and that. People raising money on the bike route on the way down as well, selling wristbands, it was absolutely brilliant. They've given so much, now we need to give something back. I do it all over again. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, this is a once in a lifetime experience, and it's just special to spin it with people who are just as enthusiastic about, you know, helping with the service members as we are. So it's just amazing collaboration. So to be able to say, let's do something, and then for you to hear that and to turn it into something wonderful is the most enormous privilege of our lives. So for being here and for everybody who supports Help the Heroes and supports all the work we can do, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> 